Welcome back to part 2 of basic router configuration tutorial. In part 1, we set up the interface of the router to provide the communication between these two different networks. Let's double check the configuration. I bring the mouse cursor over this router as, as you can see for the fast internet 0 slash 0 this one. We set up the IP address of 192.168 0.1 which is belong to the similar network address. In the other hand, we set up the IP address for fast Ethernet 1 slice 0, the IP address of 192.168.1.1 slash 24 address. These IP address on this interface are act as a default gateway for the machines on these networks. Currently, even if we connect this Rather to our networks, this machine is still unable to communicate to each other. Let's do some tests. I choose the packet generation and go to the PC2 and try to ping the PC0 from this side. And as you can see, the ping status is failed. Let's try from the PC1, the laptop 0, and the same result. Because when the packet is generated from this side, you don't know how to reach to the other side. So let's set the default gateway on machine from for the green network. Click on the PC, go to the desktop tab and IP configuration, and we set the IP address of the interface, the routers for default gateway of the machines on this network, which is 192.168.1.1. And close. Do the same thing for the other machines on this network. Desktop, IP configuration, and 192.168.1.1, which is address of the interface, fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 of the router. In the 192.168.0.0 network, we do the same thing for the machines, IP configuration, and this time we set the 192.168.0.1 for a default gateway of the PC0 and PC1. Stop IP configuration 192.168.1.0.1, which is the IP address of the interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. So now let's do the test. I delete the previous result and do the ping from the PC2 for the PC0. And let's go in. in uh, progress first of time is a fail because it's unable, don't know how to reach to the other side. And next time, it takes some time. And you can see I test from the PC1 this laptop and in progress it may fail. I delete, do it again, and next time it's successful. You can do the same test by pinging. Go to the command prompt. IP config, double check the IP address of this machine. Previously, we are unable to ping the other side machines, but now we easily get the reply. In the other word, when the packet is generated here, go and check is the packet's destination it is belong to the similar network 192.168.1.0 or belong to the other networks. If the packet is belong packet destination is belong to other networks, it use the default gateway address go to the router and this router is process the packet and select the best path for the destination which is the other networks. Let's this is a basic setting of the router. We actually we don't have any other configuration you don't need but I want to show you some basic setting of the router which is almost similar to the setting on the switch we've done in previous tutorials. To do that I click on the router Go to the command line. Before that, I explain anything. Uh, I want to show you these physical tabs. As you can see, these are a different physical modules which are installed on this router. You can, like a real machine, add the other modules and whatever based on your requirement to these machines. Beside that, there is a config tab which provides the fast configuration for you. For example, if you want to change the host name of the machine, easily you can change. Or if you want to do some setting on the installed interface on this router, you can do this from here. 
But our goal is learning the iOS, Cisco iOS, which is you can do it on a CLI. For example, I want to change the host name of the disk router, which is currently set on the router by default. I go to the General Configuration tab, and in the Configuration mode, I like a switch, I use the host name, and for example, R01. And as you can see, it is very fast, the host name is changed. Besides that, I want to get some information about the current configuration on this router. I can use the this command show running config. And as for this one doesn't work in a configuration mode, and I should exit back to the privilege mode. And for this one, show running config and press enter. I can get the current setting information of the router, like uh, which iOS version is installed on my router, what's the host name of my machine, and what IP addresses we set on the different interfaces. For example, interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, we set the IP address 192.168.0.1 with the slash 24 subnet mask, and you can see the other information which are currently run on this machine. And if you restart the router, all this configuration will be lost. To do that, you must copy the current running configuration to the startup configuration, which is stored in a part of the memory of the machine, even if the machine is restarted, is not gone and is not deleted. So I copy running configuration to a startup configuration and it asks me to the, about the destination file name. You just need to press enter and the configuration is saved on the router and you don't no need to uh, worry about if your machine is restarted, your configuration is still there. So uh, this is the basic of the setting of the router. Uh, thank you for watching. Please leave your comments and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as like our Facebook page. Thanks again and see you soon.